Whew. Welcome to Costa del Car Camping. Whatever compelled me to car camp in this weather, I hear you ask. Well, the Queen's Baton Relay is scheduled to come through Shrewsbury to celebrate the Commonwealth Games, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to bring my dad along on a local adventure. Hello, hello. Oh! <laughs> Obviously, you're not ready. I'll try and find some shade. <laughs> Blimey, you can feel that straight away. As soon as that aircon gets turned off, it hits you like a fireball. Wow, I'll tell you something, this is gonna be a challenge to stay cool. This will be a good test on the fridge. Let's see how well that does. And just all back at the car, I've actually been sent another product by Joy Tutus, a car steering wheel table. So how it works is you open it up, unclip it at the top, put it around your headrest. You can pop your phone on in the middle of the night, some batteries that need charging. It just gives you a wider surface area while you're car camping. Now this drops a little bit too low here in the back for me because I use my cool box in the back, but I'll show you how you can also use this in the front on the steering wheel. So on the back of the car table, you've got like a little sleeve that you can pop over the steering wheel, like so. Now that is useful to nobody, but that's why it comes with the adjustable straps. And there you are. You've got your little dining table there. Fish, chips, mushy peas, sorted. <laughs> so as I mentioned, you don't just have to use this as a place to eat your food. You can use this as a laptop working space. You can put a 15 inch laptop on the side here. You've got some inserts for different pieces of cutlery. If you want all pens, if you were that way inclined, it'd be cutlery for me. And then a little pouch there. You can also pop some things in as well, and a larger pouch at the back to store maybe some paper plates possibly that'll be what i'll be storing in there they've sent me a free one to send to one of you guys all you have to do to be with a chance of winning one is leave a comment below and go and follow the official joy tutash youtube channel i'll leave a link in the description go give them a follow and at some point in the near future i'll do a random selection on instagram of the comments on this channel one thing i'm very aware of today is the possibility that the camera might fail I've never used this camera in this kind of heat. 40 degree heat. It'll be a good test on the GoPro Hero 8 as well. I've got a couple of spare batteries just in case one of them fries, which is quite likely. But my God, I don't think I've ever experienced heat like this, even while I've been on holiday. Absolutely crazy. Well, the event's on. It looks a bit more scarce than what I was expecting it to be. Not too many people about. A bit of bat and ball in the distance. Fancy game of uh, summer tennis? Well, I think what the situation is, I think they've been scared to death people come out of the house, you see. I think what, the yeah. government have frightened them to death and that as soon as you go out the door, you'll evaporate. <laughs> you know, I think that's what they're thinking about. <laughs> Something will happen to me if I yeah. step out that door. So after walking around the quarry and experiencing the Baton Fest, me and my dad met some interesting people and were invited onto the Shrewsbury Biscuit podcast. My dad spun some of his conspiracy theories, but all in all, we had a good laugh. Oh, I managed to find some water. Christ, it is hot. It's got to be hitting close to 40 right now. What do you fancy? Do you fancy getting some food? Yeah, we got some food. Yeah, let's see if we can grab something nice and cold. An ice cream, you feeling? Ice cream sounds good. Okay. Have you got any? No. Raspberry. Oh, lovely. He's got some. Raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. Thank you very much. Careful, though, because it'll pull you around. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much. Look at that. Good. Double rum and raisin, please. Oh. That is good. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Oh, nice. You should, pop, you should have popped your leg up at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes, the 
cameras, I think. I see a lot of blue light. What is that, Dad? What's what's your um, what's your best guess of what she's holding? Is I it think torch? it's it's an aluminium ice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of presents, though. A lot of peasants. What do you think? <laughs> I said a lot of presents. Oh, presents. <laughs> just sat down waiting for the baton relay to come past now in the quarry and just while we wait I've got some special thanks to say to some special people of which they've donated to the channel of late first of which is Harvey I've been speaking to Harvey now for quite a few months over on zoom we've had a couple of video calls he's one of my first ever subscribers he came across the video that me and you were on actually in Bridge it? North yeah my first ever video when I lost my tooth that wasn't no, 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 you've lost your tooth in a couple of videos. Okay. Well, that one. Um, but yeah, Harvey, um, he comes from Bridge North. He now lives in Ohio, USA, and he made a very generous donation on the channel the other day. Uh, I won't say the exact amount, but let's just say it's going to fill the car tank up a couple of times. Oh, so brilliant. thank that's you absolutely... ever so much, Harvey. I that's can't brilliant. That. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's fantastic. A couple yeah. of other people I want to say thanks to as well is Marcel Jansen, who left a super thanks on a recent video, and Olivia Cluley. I'll just put your names up here. Thank you guys ever so much for leaving a donation on the channel. It's uh, actually paid for what's about to happen a bit later on. I think this is probably uh, no better time to mention it than right now. Big thanks to all the Patreon members, to the channel members, and to the names I've just mentioned that have donated. I've got a little surprise for you later on. What's that? I'm going to be cooking you one of my famous Ridge Run for pizzas. Oh, you've got it with you this time, have you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I forgot it. No, I've got it, I've got it with me, yeah. So uh, when we're done here, we're gonna go back to the car park, try and find a nice little quiet spot. I've got ingredients for a pizza, a chorizo and mozzarella pizza, and I've also got a couple of bottles of non-alcohol cider. So thank you guys for that. Tonight's dinner is on you guys that have supported the channel. Thank you ever so much. So we're gonna wait for a bit longer, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't be too long before the baton relay comes through. <laughs> So, got a little table set up, chair there, chair for my dad, he's topping up his tan. And then I've got a nice cold. Oh, lovely, lovely, low alcohol, classic cider. So you can still, so you can still drive home. <laughs> got one for me as well. Then we've got some chorizo, and then we've got tomato sauce in the car, which I'm gonna make fresh. We've got a pizza base from good old Aldi. Ready? Nearly, again, that's it, lovely. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Okay, so what I'm gonna use to make the sauce, a little bit different to last time, I've actually brought a little pot me this time, which is unlike me, I've come prepared. But we're gonna take a little bit of the tomatoes out of this tomato and herb, or chopped tomatoes and herbs from Aldi, I think they're about 39p. We'll add a bit of pepper in first, a bit of salt, a bit of basil, Quite a bit of basil. Do you like a basil-y sauce? I like basil. Good, good. You got a lot of it there. Stir that up. Sauce is there, cheese is there, chorizo's there. Let's get this pizza cut. Well, I'm gonna flip this over, put it across the ridge monkey, like so. And then we need to press this into the pan and try and cut off the excess dough. <coughs> but this is what we're left with once we've cut it out. Doesn't look very pretty at the moment, but that's okay. I'm gonna cook one side of the pastry ever so slightly, just so it can kind of cook through a little bit. If you are cooking one of these on a Ridge Monkey, top tip is to make sure that you put it on a very, very, very low heat. Right, I'm coming to respect this now. Okay, what do you reckon so far? Pepper. Basil, oregano, pepper, and salt to mix in with that. A bit of cheese on there. That's our sauce. Oh. And then mozzarella <coughs> cheese. Where's the cheese gone? There yeah, it is. There it is. Right, that's good enough for cheese. Okay. We'll get the chorizo on. So that's what it looks like before we close the lid for the second time. And then we should have a little bit of magic once this is uh, finished cooking. Okay, pizza's ready. Good. Bon appetit. <laughs> that. That's good. That's well done. Good. Take a couple of pieces. 
Ow! 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 Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> right, have a, have a bite. We're going to go for this. <laughs> that is really nice. The perfect crunch. It's lovely, isn't it? That is lovely. Mmm. Mm. Right, we're going to do the rest of this off camera. I'll join you guys back in a minute. And I'm about ready to get set for bed. Cheers, folks. <laughs> Bye. Look at this car park while we've been cooking and eating. Don't know whether I should move or not. No one's really been too bothered about what we're doing. I think I might try and get the window covers up. Have a nice quiet night in Franco car park. Let's see how we get on. I'll get staffed up and then see where we're at. Okay. Oh, how's my hair looking? Am I gonna regret taking that off in the edit? Most probably. <laughs> What a night. Oh. Christ, it's hot in here. Whew. Hopefully the temperature drops a little bit as the night continues. I've got the windows cracked a little bit. I'll tell you something though, we don't have many summers like this in the UK, but I could really do with a portable power station to run a fan or something in here. I'm gonna be cooked alive, I think, tonight. Right, I'm gonna bed down for the night at Frankwell Car Park. See if I can get a decent night's sleep. Let's have a look out here, it's still light outside. It's pretty quiet. Anyway, I'm gonna get down into my pants, get myself tucked away for the night, and I will see you guys in the morning. My God, was it hot in here last night? It probably started to cool down a little bit. Maybe midnight, it started to drop slightly. But I mean, the temperature now, I've just checked, is still 24, 25 degrees. Unbelievable. Luckily, this spot was able to avoid direct sunlight this morning. I think it's about half past eight now. So I have to pay for some parking. Oh, that is far too bright for my eyes this morning. Right then, from Frankwell Car Park in Shrewsbury, thank you for joining me for another video. A little local one last night. It was nice to have my dad here. Hopefully, fingers crossed, he can join me in a few more if he gets his car camper sorted, which I don't think he ever will. <laughs> but yeah, I'll love you and leave you guys. Fingers crossed you'll survive in the sun. I'm gonna head off now to Aldi and just stand in the freezer section for a little bit. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.